Hey guys, I got the 2003 Ford F-150 back in the garage. Today I'm going to be fixing the odometer backlight. Been having issues with that for the past few years now, and it uh, seems like it's getting worse, so figured it's time to go ahead and uh, fix it. So really quick here, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, this is a common issue on these and also the Expeditions and F-250s. Turn the key here, you can see down there, I got nothing popping up, the odometer, you know, I hit the button, all that and it's just not lighting up. Sometimes it'll come on, sometimes it won't. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix that. So first off, let's go ahead and uh, pull this piece off here. So what you can do, just grab it with your fingers here and then pull towards you. You can see that kind of pops off and then down below here, same thing, you got a couple clips will pull off towards you. You can see that pops right off. And to make it easier, you can grab your key Put that in, bring your shifter down here. And that'll help you get this out of here a little better. Next, we need to remove the uh, headlight switch here. So get you a little pry tool or a flathead. You got that little opening right there. Let's go ahead and stick that up in there and then just kind of pry out with it, just like that. And you can see you got a clip right here. So it just pops out of there. And then you go ahead and unplug both of these. So just push down with your thumb. Same thing on this one right here. Push in and unplug it. So now with that headlight switch out of there, it gives us access to that bolt. So go ahead and remove that. That's gonna be a seven millimeter or a nine thirty seconds. Next, come over here to the left side of the steering wheel. You're gonna have another seven millimeter right there. So go ahead and remove that one. And then if you guys got a magnet, also helps out as well, getting into some of these tight areas. And then just opposite of that one on the right hand side, you'll have a seven millimeter there. Go ahead and remove that. And then also this one right here. Next, we're gonna remove three seven millimeters up here. So go ahead and do that. Next, go ahead and make sure your parking brake's on. Grab your key, go ahead and turn it. And we'll bring this all the way down. And then you can go ahead and just kind of pull out on this. Just like that. Same with grab it under here. Just kind of pop it out of there. You can see that starts separating this. And then it kind of gets stuck right back in here. So kind of just undo it like that. And then you should be able to pull this whole thing out of here. Next, we need to remove uh, these two screws right there on the white. Those will also be seven millimeters. So go ahead and remove those. Then you got the same thing on the right hand side here. That one there is a little harder to access, but if you got a long extension, you'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and remove those two.
Next, go ahead and uh, pull out on this, your instrument panel here. And if you tip this up a little bit here, let me show you here real quick, let me zoom in. So you can disconnect the uh, shift indicator here. So if you got this black tab right here, and then same thing on this side. So if you press in on both of those and then press in and pull out, this whole thing should come out of here. So just lift that out of there like that. And kind of just tuck that down there. And then just kind of tip this outward here. Let's see if we can get our electrical connectors out of here. So next come over here to the left side. And if you tilt this up, you can see we got electrical connector right there, that black one. So what you can do is uh, take your finger here, you'll feel a little tab right on top. So just press down on that and then see if you can pull out on this. And you can see that unplugs just like that. And there's that, uh, this is the tab I'm talking about right here. So just press down right there. So what you want to do next is kind of just rotate this. Unfortunately, my truck doesn't have tilt steering, so I can't adjust the column here. Um, but you want to just kind of tilt it up. just kind of like this. Then kind of bring it out here. And then we're going to have one more connector on the uh, right side, very back there. And that should give us enough room here. So let me go ahead and uh, move my camera here. And so you can see way back in there, you're gonna have the same thing, that little white tab. You'll press down on that and then I'll pull out that electrical connector there. I'm gonna have to use both hands. So uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. So as you can see, I got that disconnected. Just had to do that off camera because I couldn't hold it and uh, use both hands. Now you should be able to just slide this out of here carefully with all that disconnected. Like I said, yours might be easier if you got the tilt steering, but just carefully pull this out of here, just like that. And then you can go ahead and uh, put it back in the park here. So now with that out, what we'll need to do is take off this white cover here and you're gonna have uh, Looks like four on top here are these gold screws and then three on the bottom. And those are gonna be a 730 seconds. So go ahead and uh, pull those off. And then you should be able to just pull this off of here. So what you wanna do next is um, we need to flip this board over so this is just kind of pressed on here by these little these little things here you can see them all over the place but if you just pry up a little bit on this on each side it'll release from those you can see and then just kind of be careful and you can just kind of flip this over and then i'll go ahead and turn this towards us So kind of like that and then uh, I'll show you here let me zoom in so the area we need to focus on is going to be right here where that ribbon connects and let me get my camera closer here so if I zoom in you can kind of see right there so if you look at this end one here you can see that solder joint is just totally cracked same with this end one as well and it's kind of hard to tell, but maybe it looks like a couple there on this end as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I'm going to heat those up and then maybe place a little more uh, new solder on there. And we'll see if that uh, fixes the problem. Okay, so I, uh, for some reason, misplaced my nice soldering iron. I'm not sure what I did with it. So I actually had to run to Walmart real quick. And I picked up this EverStart soldering iron in the automotive department. It was only like $6.07, so I'll put a link in the description. Um, 
but I do have some solder and then also found my solder suckers. What you do with this is um, you'll get the joint all nice and hot and then you hit this uh, button here and you'll suck up the old solder just like that. That way you can uh, go ahead and place down some new solder. So let me go ahead and uh, open this up and we'll get it uh, plugged in and start to heat up. All right guys, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. But um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just heat up that first joint there. And uh, there's not much solder on there, so I'm not sure how well the, the solder sucker is gonna work on this. Um, but you can see I'm just kinda, just get that kinda heated up really good here. And then I'll go ahead and place this on top. Suck some of that off of there. Let me just try again here. Get that heated up nicely. So kind of like that. And then uh, go ahead and take your solder here. And I'm going to go ahead and heat that up really good right around that. And then go ahead and just feed some solder on that. So kind of like that. And uh, let me go ahead and do this other one here real quick. You can see there's just not really much solder that's even holding that on from the factory. So really, I think I'm wasting my time with the solder sucker. So let me go ahead and just heat this up. Let's put some fresh on that. Just kind of like that. Let me do this one a little more. So just kind of like that. And then um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of heat up the rest of these really quick here. And if they need any more solder, I'll go ahead and do that. But I think these uh, end ones here, I think will be okay just like how they are. All right guys, so not sure if you can tell, but I went ahead and uh, refreshed all those. Uh, so we're thinking that's gonna work. So now we can go ahead and uh, flip this back over here. And then uh, go ahead and feed this circuit board through them little pins everywhere here. Get those lined up. And then you can just kind of press down and you can see those kind of spread open and then kind of latch into place. Make sure that's all the way down. And then also now would be a good time if you wanted to, you can replace all these miniature bulbs. Um, and what those do, you just turn them and then you um, pull them out. And then you just twist them back in there. But I don't have any replacements right now, so I'm just going to leave those ones. So I think what I'm going to do next is go ahead and uh, clean up this little plastic lens here. You can see there's this stuff splattered on here. I'm not really sure what got on this, but I've tried to remove this before and I just can't get it off. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of this. If I had a replacement lens, I'd go ahead and replace it because you just got some screws here, but I don't have a replacement one. So, And then what else I'm going to do is you can see there's kind of dust in there. So I'm going to see if I can get up under here and where the dial indicator goes and just um, spray some compressed air there lightly just to see if I can get some of this um, dust out of here as well. Once you get all that cleaned up, we can go ahead and get this cover back on here. 
and then you can grab your screws. Let's go ahead and tighten those up. I'm gonna do all these by hand. I'm not gonna use that little impact that I took them off with because I don't wanna tighten these too tight and then uh, crack that circuit board. So let me go ahead and uh, get all these in by hand here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, install it back in the truck here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this all the way back down again. And let's go ahead and get our instrument panel back in here. And as you can see, I didn't really get that uh, the screen cleaned up too well here, but that's all right. Go ahead and stuff this back down in here. It's kind of like that. Let's get our uh, connectors back in. And then go ahead and get your uh, connectors connected here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Not sure if I'll be able to or not. Can't really see what I'm doing. So let me go ahead and get these plugged in real quick. So as you can see, you got both of those plugged in, the white one and the black one there. So now let's go ahead and uh, get our gear selector thing back up in here. So we have to kind of bring this up a little bit. Go ahead and grab that. And kind of turn that. Get it slid up to where it needs to be. Tilt us back a little more here. Just kind of get that in place. And then what you can do is just push up and it should click into place. Just like that. Bring this back here. And get that situated to where it needs to be and let's go ahead and bring that back up in the park turn our key off and then back in on and then just check your odometer see right there it's got our trip and there's our odometer so it's working like a champ now Now let's go ahead and get all of our screws in here that hold our instrument panel in. So take your seven millimeters and uh, just go ahead and try to get them kind of started here. These uh, bottom two ones are kind of hard. So what I like to do is uh, I just found a little magnet here and I stuck it to my extension in my socket. And you can see that kind of just holds it there. So if your magnet's strong enough and then you can go ahead and uh, get this up under here and then make sure that's in there all the way. Um, on the left side here, you got that little dowel it sits into and then your screw right next to it. So just kind of go ahead and get that started in there. Kind of like that. Same thing over here, just make sure that's in there all the way. This one's kind of really hard to get down into. Let's see if you can get that stuck in there somewhat. Move your magnet up a little bit if you need to, or just remove it all together once you get it kind of in there, and then just get that started. Just kind of like that top one here just easier I think if you use your hand get it up in there it's like that now let's go ahead and uh, tighten those up Next, we'll go ahead and uh, get our gear shifter down here again. Let me close that so it's not dinging. 
Take your trim piece here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this in. And then just watch this little piece right here. You wanna get that up under there. And then same with uh, over here. So you wanna get this back behind that. So kinda like that. kind of the same thing it's kind of hard to tell but you got a dowel down there as well so you want to make sure that dowel gets into place and also make sure these wires here are exposed because we want to plug in our headlight switch here and it looks like oh there it is just trying to find our other one here Make sure those are exposed. So then just kind of push that into place there like that. Same with this. And then you also got a dowel on this side. You want to make sure that lines up. It's so kind of like that. Let's go ahead and get our screws in. I'm going to start out with the uh, three top ones there first. Go ahead and get those up in there. Next, go ahead and uh, get these two over here in and uh, tighten them down. And then same with this one back down in here. That one's kind of hard to get to as well. And then go ahead and get that last one there that goes behind the headlight switch in. So grab your headlight switch and go ahead and get these plugged in. And then go ahead and get that inserted back into here and I just push in and that snaps in there and then lastly let's go ahead and put on this trim piece here so you just kind of pull on your gear shifter here get that set down in there and then just uh, get that in place and then just press and that pops right into place like that. So now let's just uh, double check that one more time here. Make sure our odometer's working. And right there, that looks good. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Again, this was a 2003 Ford F-150. Went ahead and repaired the odometer and tripometer on the instrument panel there. Like I said, I've been dealing with this for the last few years now, and it seems like it's gotten really worse within the last month here. So I went ahead and repaired it because I, I rely on that for when I uh, change the oil and everything on this. So hopefully this video helps you out. Really simple job to do, uh, especially if you got a soldering gun and solder. You don't really need to spend any money. You just got to take apart a few things there. So, And as always, if you like the video, why don't you subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.